my friend Scott Foster came up with this modification for my uh, softbox lamp design and what I'm showing you is the back of the softbox here where the board uh, is, is mounted. We have all the, um, the cleat sockets with the bulbs screwed in the front uh, of this and I'll, I'll actually show you a full view of it in a second but what I want you to see is here this is a tripod head this head is for a normal cheap tripod that you'd buy at a place like Walmart or uh, Fred Meyer or Radio Shack to mount a digital camera or camcorder to here's the single bracket costs about 25 cents at a, a hardware store screwed into the back on one side and then on the other side there is a bolt going through this is the platform that you'd no normally see in uh, this tripod holding a camera on well you remove this center bolt right here and put in a longer bolt that can go up through this angle bracket and then you just screw it on with a wing nut that you can get at a local hardware shop so once the angle bracket is uh, mounted onto the back here then you just s slip it on top of the bolt that comes up through this platform here and then you screw it on with a wing nut and it sits in just like that into your tripod and I'll go ahead and show you a full view but the modification is, is quite simple I'll just take this off here so you can see it you can see the bolt going through the bottom there and then it comes right up through into that platform and then the platform just sits right in the tripod just as if it was a camera being mounted in here. Okay, so now you're looking side by side at uh, two different lamps. This is my uh, home-built softbox lamp with the modified uh, tripod attached to it. And then there is a professional 500-watt uh, halogen softbox lamp um, on a, a really inexpensive lamp stand. Uh, if you compare the price of these two, uh, I was actually able to build uh, two of these for $50, two of these lamp heads for $50, um, and I was able to uh, purchase this uh, tripod, which is actually a larger tripod. It stands at 66 inches, so it can get quite high and it's fairly sturdy. I paid $35 for it. Um, you can usually pick up these tripods between $15 and uh, $40. In fact, I saw one on sale today um, at Radio Shack for $15. Bucks. Um, and uh, essentially this works the same as the professional lamp stand. The professional lamp stand uh, all it has is this adjustment on the back here where you can adjust the, the lamp head up and down and then um, you have the tripod here and the tripod can can go as high as I need it to go. Um, the cost of this lamp is actually uh, 150 to 200 dollars and the problem with the halogen lamps is they burn quite hot at 500 watts they put off a whole lot of heat and they gobble up a lot of power and they're also very fragile uh, if you blow a fuse in this lamp or if you blow a bulb in this lamp you can burn it out the fuses and bulbs themselves cost 25 uh, to replace each and so um, it can get quite expensive plus it uses a lot of power so it could throw a breaker or uh, burn out a fuse really easy uh, and it gets hot if you're working in enclosed areas like this one where um, it's just not that great in the summer because it gets quite hot if I'm running uh, you know two or three of those halogen bulbs and they're eating up all that power this gives off the same amount of light but I use full spectrum bulbs so it gives off uh, the color temperature of the of noonday sun which is quite nice um, and it gives off the same amount of light using uh, about one-fifth of the power so that uses the 500 watts this actually puts off the same amount of, of light using right around 125 watts I'm really happy with this I've got four of these now that I've built I've built four uh, uh, lamp heads and I have got four different tripods that I've attached them to it's just as uh, handy to adjust as the professional one and um, you know depending on the the tripod that you get you can get them quite high the average tripod it runs around um, 58 inches or so uh, you want to get the uh, fairly uh, more sturdy rated ones uh, usually 58 inches and up are the the tripods that you want to go with because this the smaller ones are really meant just for real lightweight cameras it's easy to do and um, you know you can do it in just a couple of minutes